I don't believe I've ever told anyone to go out and buy a certain seed because I always figure that plants grow differently for everybody and I hate to recommend something but this purple TP bean is fantastic. One of the really great things about this plant is that the beans form above the foliage. I have noticed though as I kept harvesting them over a two to three week period I started getting more beans down lower. I collected two colanders full of these beautiful purple beans the first time I harvested them. And I have been getting one colander full every single day for the last three weeks. I think that's pretty terrific. As you can see by looking at some of these leaves, they do have a virus of some sort, some kind of a disease. I'm not sure which one it is yet, but there are many that can affect beans. And in this area, it's quite prevalent. I usually spray with an organic fungicide, but I wasn't feeling well during this time, and so I really neglected them. I think otherwise they would have been fine. Is she still talking about those daggone beans, Thelma Lou? Mm -hmm. Oh, Gertrude May, you know she does like them a lot. Ugh. I'm getting tired of hearing about it. These are the purple potted pole beans. You can see they're bigger than the other type. And they are really delicious. Now, whether they'll be as prolific as the others, time will tell, and I'll let you know. They really are a beautiful looking bean. They're long and they're flat. And what I'm showing you right now is from my very first harvest with them. And they, I, I think if I compare the two, from this initial harvest, I only got about a third of a colander full, which is a big difference between the purple TP in which I got two full colanderfuls. But they sure are pretty and they taste great. Thanks for watching. God bless. What do you think? It's finally done, Thelma Lou. Now we can get some shut eye. Well, okay then, nay nay. Good night. Sweet dreams, everybody.